Hello everybody, I'm Overcord and welcome back to Cornucopia Collectibles. Alright, I'm Bob. We've got the final round of our battle boxes, which weirdly enough is also another Pop King Paul. This is a, with shipping, $260 set of boxes, both from Pop King Paul. They were their Sunday night special. We think there was like a range of like the two, like probably just under 250 upwards with a top ma maxing. We don't know where, I can't remember. But, we both got the same size boxes. <laughs> So we're going to open them up, and we're going to start seeing what we got. All right. I lost my little Wish me luck, guys. No. Oh, yeah, we are one round each. He beat us out of the water, beat me out of the water last time with that big Speedy Gonzalez pull. Whatever it takes to win. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I got a full six here. I got five soft protectors and one hard stick, and I got also. One, two, three. You can look to see how many you have. Yeah, especially since he does his with the bottom is facing up. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, so I have one hard stack and five in protectors. All right, same here. Okay. So we'll just start grabbing and going. We'll finish with the hard stacks. All righty. Ready? Yep. Set. Go. Ultraman. All right. Last in the past. And I have a Space Jam Taz. This is from the original Space Jam Chase. No. That's good a good start. start. From 2020 for mine. I can't tell. 2018 for yours. All right. That's cool. Four years old. I wonder if it's because he's like ripped up or something. Barnes and Noble. Or his teeth. He's got his teeth garland because mm. he doesn't have that on the photos. Okay. Pretty cool. We'll check him out and we'll be right back. All right. No going crazy just yet. Pretty close. I have taken a slight lead here. Ultraman is at $28. Space Jam Taz is at 33 right now. I didn't check for vaulted or not. Yeah. It's not that important with this one. <laughs> but I'll, I'll maybe check in the next update and we'll go back real quick and yeah, tell you. This one might have been. Yeah, Ultraman might be. I don't know if Taz would be. But all right, let's get the next one out. All right. Ready? Yep. Set. Go. All right. We got. You have Jean Lefoot. Yep. Which looks like it's a Funko Shop exclusive. Uh, yep. Yes, it is. From 2018. 18, 18. And I have the Flocked Hello Kitty Gold Medal Funko Shop exclusive as well from 2020. And I know this just got vaulted actually because the Funko's updated things where you can actually see this a little easier. So I know this just got funk, uh, vaulted in the last month or so. So, I don't know if that raised its value or not. I forgot to check that. Well, but we'll look, check it out and we'll get right back to you. See? All right. So, again, slightly difference here. We're looking at $24 for John LeFoot, and we're looking at $32 for Hello Kitty Gold Metal. These are both vaulted, whereas before the Taz and Ultraman are not at this point. So, still a close race, close. but. I'm getting a very, very small lead, but that big one is always the kind of the, the deal breaker, you know. Oh, I pulled a nice $170 grail last yeah. time. What does he pull? $300 plus dollar one. <laughs> All right, next up. Ready? Ready. Go. Oh, hello, Rose. I got Thor. Oh, Thor. That's decent. Which one is it? That's from Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Yeah, Thor Ragnarok. So that's a bit older. We're going on 2017 17. for that. Ooh. And I've got Rose Bowling from the Golden Girls. Mm -hmm. And that's a 2021 guy right there or gal okay. in this case all righty he's getting older stuff i'm getting right. newer stuff what is this <laughs> i'm older there you go that's why well then you should be getting the golden girl I, I should be getting dark i got my own golden girl <laughs> all right we'll check these out and be right back all righty so again i'm pulling ahead bit by bit his thor which is him actually holding surter's head not that you can really see it but there's detail there is coming in at $31, and it is a vaulted one again. My Rose, which I'm thinking, I will say that this is probably inflated more recently because of her passing, because this was played by, Rose was played by Betty White, is coming in at $46 right now. That is PPG for this right now. So again, very slight lead. It is what it is. <laughs> Slowly building a little bit more distance each time. Till my hard stack. Till his hard stack. That, crush him. That, that's what'll crush me. All right. Next one up. All right. One, two, three. 
Oh, now I get a superhero. But you also get a superhero. Right. What is this? <laughs> so I got uh, Avengers Endgame Iron Patriot Funko Shop exclusive. And you have Pietro Maximoff uh, Funko Shop exclusive from 2021. Mine is also from 2021. So we're looking at the same age range here. Gotcha. They probably aren't vaulted yet. <laughs> I doubt it. But the Funko Shop exclusives sometimes get quick vaulted. But we'll see. I haven't seen the Iron Patriot one before. Yeah. That one's pretty cool. I like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Alright. We'll check them out and be right back. Alrighty. Again, not trying to get excited, but I have successfully done, gone four rounds of this box with a slight lead. We're looking at $28 for Pietro Maximoff and $38 for the Iron Patriot. I'm, I'm very scared now, but what those hard stacks are. <laughs> Might be the clincher. But I'm not upset right now. All right, we got one last soft stack and then the hard yeah, stack. That's it. Ready? Yep. Set, go. Oh my gosh, I got a Toys R Us. Oh, jeez. And I got WWE. This was something, what the heck? Seth Rollins. You have Seth Rollins from WWE. That's one I don't recognize at this point. If he had an older name and you know it, let me know. Because I know like that was the one, like Diesel used to be somebody else. So like his name changed. Right, he's 16 right now. He's from 2016, yep. I have Joffrey, part of the Golden Ticket Sweepstakes. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure that Sweepstakes is done now. Right. But yeah, it ended in 2018. Mm -hmm. But I have... The Toys R Us exclusive, just Joffrey from 2017. Interesting. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll check them out and be right back. Okay. All righty. I've gone five for five. <laughs> we're getting to the final round here, though, and that's always the one that makes or breaks these things. So we're looking at $28 for Seth Rollins here. He is a vaulted pop, which is pretty cool, because especially with the WWE stuff, there's, pretty, mm -hmm. there's a pretty good fan base there. My Joffrey is also vaulted and looking at $39. I have no idea what the golden ticket thing about it is. We don't care. Yeah. All that matters is... I have to read that. I have to read all about right. that, yeah. But still, mm -hmm. pretty cool. Let's get to the hard stacks, though. Because okay. usually Pop King Paul follows the rule of it's not a hard stack unless if it's a $100 pop, so... All right. Ready? Yes. Set. Go. All right, he's got, you've got Jim Halpert from The Office, and I've got Russell from Up, mm -hmm. Disney Series 5. That's pretty old. Yours is from 2019. Mm -hmm. Mine is from 2013. Okay. No special stickers on mine, but yours is a Funko Shop one. exclusive. Oh, you're three-hole punch, Jim. That's actually how he comes up, because he's wearing a costume where his shirt has three-hole punches oh, in it. Okay. He's three-hole punch, Jim, which is a pretty decent one from what I remember. But we'll check them out, and we'll let you know who the winner is. All righty. Well, this was a pretty close one overall. So the numbers before these two go into effect. I was sitting at $188. He was sitting at $139. Every time I got a little bit more, a little bit more. Now, looking at these, I lose this final round with the big stack. Russell comes in at $110. Jim Halpert comes in at $140 right now. However, because of all my other little bits of winnings, I end up with 298 to his 279. So real close this time, but I finally win a battle box set. <laughs> We're going to the steakhouse, and I'm ordering the prime rib. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all I got was chicken nuggets. He gets prime rib. You're retired, dude. <laughs> All right. Um, but this is a pretty cool one. Um, it's cool to always get older Disney because even though like his PPG is at a, where it is, but like I've seen these guys pop up and people are hunting for the for the peop, for the hot Disney stuff. So you'll see some people go crazy for the for these guys, especially with Up being what it was. It's it it's very iconic. Yeah. You know, it's nine years um, old now. We got a ton of good stuff in this yeah, one. I really a like a batch. bunch of bunch of vaulted goodies. Nice batch. You know? Bunch of heroes, bunch of stuff we just don't have mm -hmm. easy access to. Um, I'm probably going to say my personal favorite of this is probably the Taz. Even though like Russell's mm -hmm. really really cool, the Taz is cool because like I didn't realize there was a full set of Space Jam before the LeBron James movie ones. You know, like right. it's really cool to get. And Taz is honestly one of the greatest Looney Tunes characters there is. I don't care. <laughs> um, what was your favorite? 
Oh, back then? Uh, oh, well, of the sets. Oh, of the set? Oh, yeah, the set of boxes. Uh, John LaFood, Pietro Maximoff, yeah, yeah. Rose, Thor. I don't know. Probably the wrestler, actually. Yeah, probably cool. the wrestler? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so definitely let us know what you think your, what your favorite pull was. Um, obviously, we'll, get, we'll work on getting another set of these up at some point. We take a little bit of a break from these and come back to them bit by bit when we find some good boxes. We had just ended up this time was all Pop King Paul. Um, but... Make sure you're checking out the links in the description below for postings about our lives, Instagram postings, all this kind of stuff that we do there. The Shopify link is working now, so if you are wanted, there are still 10 mystery boxes that we made up that you could check out. We're going to try and put some more stuff on that site soon. Um, but make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell for the stuff here, obviously, so you can see it when it comes live. But regardless, good luck hunting out there, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!